feeling what in the world? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't even know how to explain it, honestly. Um, like I said, it's just everything happens the way it does, and uh, it's kind of just God's plan, and I'm just rolling with that. So, like I said, I'm happy to be back here, though, and just be playing. Last time I spoke to you, we were on the sideline at the Cal game versus Davis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different scenario than you had just heard that you didn't make that 53-man roster. How has life just changed for you since that moment? It's been a while, two weeks, or a week and a half, I guess. And, I mean, I couldn't make this up, you know what I mean? Like, no one saw this obviously coming or whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's just believing in yourself and uh, trusting that, you know, you put the work in, everything kind of works out. And, you know, I still have a long ways to go, obviously, uh, but it's a start, and I'm happy to be out here, ready to contribute. When John Gruden and Mike Mayock called you and told you that they wanted you back, what was that conversation like? Oh, you know, of course. You know, I mean, um, I had a good deal, obviously, with the Jaguars as well. And um, when Coach Gruden and Coach Mayock came calling, you know, I told them, I was like, look, man, I want to play a few guys. And uh, he just talked about how it was unfortunate, how it didn't work out during that day. And, you know, we eventually we had to, you know, we, got to we got a deal done. So it was pretty cool. How does it feel coming out here at the Coliseum and just all these fans knowing who you are, yeah. screaming your name? Yeah, that yeah. has to be surreal. Yeah, I pulled up and I was like, wow. <laughs> and I couldn't even make it into the, the driveway thing here. And uh, you know, thought I was AB pulling up or something. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just cool. I miss my home. So, uh, nothing like that, you know. So, it's happy to be here, though. What was it like in Florida? It's hot, you know, I'll tell you that. But, uh, but I couldn't say enough nice things about uh, Jacksonville as well. I mean, um, the coaches, staff, the players, you know, the front office, but they're all great. And, uh, you know, they're a great team over there. So it was a good experience. Why do you think that you're such a good fit for this Raiders franchise and what they're trying to do? Uh, just my skill set, um, you know, my, my work first approach. And uh, I just want to be great. So I'll put the work in to do that. And, uh, you know, I'm a rookie. So, <laughs> you know, we got to, uh, you know, roll with the good things, roll with the punches as well. And, you know, we're going to learn a lot and just have fun playing football and making plays out here for the Raiders. Does it feel like you ever left? It does a little bit, but as soon as I touch back, y'all out that Like, I'm back. And, and like, I'm home. Yeah, I feel I home. And it doesn't feel like I've been away for a long time. So, that's cool. What did the guys say to you when you got back? Have oh, you seen them all? Yeah, they seem, they're happy for me to be here. I mean, I got a ton. Obviously, everyone on this team, like my boys here now. So, uh, they're all happy to see me. I was happy to see them. And I'm just happy to be back and uh, get ready to go. What was the best message that you got from one of the teammates? Uh, best message was just <laughs> keep grinding, you know, pretty much. Uh, I don't want to go into, you know, a lot of details, but it's pretty much keep your head down, keep grinding, focus on you, and the and other thing will take care of itself. Obviously, you're not playing today because yeah. you're not suited up. What, were, were we going to see you next week? Yeah, I should be ready to go by next week. I don't know some rules or something like that. I can't play tonight, but uh, I should be able to go by next week. All right, perfect.